Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Envy desktop. The model is TE01-1144. In this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding additional hard drive, the secondary drive in this computer here. And this is my 3.5 inch, 2 terabyte HDD drive. I like to use the Seagate Paracuda. Uh, the hard drive seems to be a lot more reliable and give me a better lifetime and has less problem with it. I mean, I do like Western Digital, but in this video, I like to go with the 2TB Seagate Paracuda on this one. So let me go ahead and remove the cover, get the hard drive out. And let's put that on the side here. So here is the brand new HV desktop. Um, and I like to go ahead and show you step by step on how to add additional hard drive because I do need to have a lot more storage to store the data um, so that the C drive is not filled up all the way. I'm using a Torx screwdriver here. Let's go ahead and remove this screw. and slide the panel to your left. This is the hard drive tray for the 3.5 inch hard drive and we'll be installing into this tray. Now, before we can do that, we actually have to remove the first screw and then pry open this thing. The black metal tray, just put it on the side. And the next step we would like to do is to remove the front panel. What you want to do is you want to open up this little clipper. There are three of them. The second and the third one here is at the bottom. Once you open the three clipper, you can slide the front panel to your right. That's how you remove it. Once you have removed the front panel, there's one screw here in the front. We must remove that screw so that we can open up the, the tray. Once you have the tray removed, you can slide the 3.5 inch hard drive into the slot. And the hard drive should be in this position. Now there are four screws that we need to mount to hold on to the hard drive. And let me grab the screw and I'll be right back. For some reason, I'm not sure why, HP, they decided not to give you the extra screws. So by buying the hard drive, you, you do not have the screws to mount the hard drives. So you would have to buy the screw separately. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link the hard drive and the screws in the description below. And you can buy those um, additional tools that you need uh, for this upgrade and you can go ahead and check out from Amazon or eBay uh, that's where I usually get my parts from so go ahead and screw and lock it down the hard drive
All right, once you install all the four screws, the hard drive is ready to be put back. So go ahead and slide the tray back in, close it down. Remember the front screws that we removed earlier. Let's go ahead and put it back in. All right. Now what you want to do is you want you see this power cable. So the power cable, there's this little, um, if you look at here on the left, the side is flat. And if you look the one on the right, you can see a little uh, latch and you have to follow with the hard drive here. So go ahead and push it in. This is to power up your hard drive. The next part is you want to install the SATA cable. Again, the flat one is on the right side. The left has a little latch on it. That's where you follow with the hard drive. Push it in. That's how you install. And that's pretty much it. Now the next step to do is to put this bracket back in and secure the hard drive. Put the screws back. And slide the front panel back in. All you have to do is just that make sure the clipper is locked and just push all the way in. That's all you need to do for this model. The next part of it is to slide the side panel back. Have the side panel sit flat and then push it to your right. And everything is in the right place and put the screws back in to secure the side panel. Now we are pretty much done with installing the hard drive. However, you might not able to see the hard drive when you turn on the computer, you would see like the C drive, but not the like the D drive or the E drive pointing to the two terabyte um, secondary drive. What you still have to do is you want to go to um, I'm not sure if I can show it to you here. I don't think I can. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click at the bottom left corner. I'll just draw the chart for you. Hopefully you can follow along with it. All right. So what you want to do here, once you install the hard drive, okay. And you still need to go ahead and initialize the disk so that you can use it as a secondary drive. So the next step is you're going to put in all the cables, you hook it up, you turn on the computer, it boots to the windows, put in your password, you log in, right? So let's say, let's say you log in and this is your monitor at the bottom left corner here is a test bar and you can see that little window here. Okay. So you want, what you want to do is you right click and then select disk management but by left click. I know I'm just trying to be, um, uh, be very specific here. At least you can follow along. So when you click on disk management, a little window would pop up. Okay. And you can see that it's somewhat separated in two columns, right? So on the top here, it has the C drive and it says partition, yada, yada, yada. And what you want to do is you want to pay attention to this box. There's a disk zero and then disk one, so on and so forth, right? It could be disk two, da, 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 da. So what you want to do is you're going to see something that is strictly just black like this. I believe it's black. I'm not hundred percent sure because I don't see it on my screen now. I'm just trying to remember and, and telling you what to do. Um, I think you right click and then says this initialize it. Okay. And once you 
initialize it I think it will pop up and ask you to uh, uh, to, to name the volume I think it's called new volume you can put it a name maybe you, could, you want to name something like two terabyte um, hard drive or you want to name as like backup drive things like that you can name anything you want um, and click OK and apply and right after that you can see that under this PC you will see something like C drive and either D drive or E drive as your that two two terabyte hard drive that we just installed I hope that this tutorial helps um, if you have any question comment below and um, yeah just let me know how you like it so hopefully um, this video helps and um, until next time take care bye